Good afternoon and welcome back to Cole's Backyard Coop. Wanted to talk to you guys today about your chicken's health and something that's happening within my flock that I want to bring to your attention in case it happens to you. So I want you to look at Daisy right here. You can get a good look at the side of her face. You can see that there are some scab-like formations on her comb and wattle. And those are what is called foul pot. Hey, you be quiet. Um, those are what is called foul pox. So basically, the chickens got chicken pox. Um, foul pox is the proper name for it. And what it means is that they were bitten by maybe a mosquito or um, some kind of biting insect. Usually it's a mosquito that gives them... Okay, we got to quiet you down. We got to quiet you down. Calm down. Okay. Um, and what they do is they bite the chicken and then it gives them this kind of virus. And these two had it the worst, uh, Daisy here and Betty. And you can see on her face, she had it right around the eye, on the eyelid, on the wattle, and on the comb are primarily the areas that will be infected, not on the feathers and not usually on the legs will you ever see those type of growths. It can look very ugly in its early stages, but now um, what will happen is the scabs kind of dry up and they kind of fall off and their face goes back to looking normal. But during the time that it's happening, it doesn't look very pretty and the face will look kind of swollen and it, it really is alarming to wonder what's wrong with your chicken. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. Um, another effect of having the fowl pox is the decreased egg production. They may lose weight. Uh, they might be a little lethargic. Um, I noticed that with Daisy a little bit that she stopped laying for a few days. And... Um, then she picked back up again. She laid today. Actually, all 11 girls laid today. I got 11 out of 11 eggs today. Uh, so that's excellent. 11 out of 11 hens gave me production, which is always a good thing. But I really wanted to give you a good close-up of what that looks like. Scabby black growth um, to watch for because these are all things with chicken health that you have to always be aware of. Now you can see on Betty there, it kind of got in her eyelid and deformed her eye a little bit. It'll go back to normal, but just for the moment, it is kind of um, making her vision a little bit distorted. So it's it's gotten a lot better. So I wanted to take the time to show you guys what it looks like and why it happens. Again, it's from the bite of a mosquito that bit another chicken that had the virus already. It can be spread chicken to chicken. If those scabs break open and they happen to rub another chicken, then it will spread. But as you can see, I do have hens that do not have it. Their combs are beautiful red with no growth at all. Now, Ducky there on her rose comb, you can see a little bit of white towards the back. And that's a sign that she got infected. And then my other little blue Americana there, uh, Blue Belle, she got it on her comb as well. And this little Dixie here, she did not get it on her comb, but there is one little spot of black on her. Well, that's dirt. That's not the infection. So this is something that you really want to watch for in your flock, among other things. Uh, you always want to make sure to, to take time, clean your coop, clean uh, the run itself, make sure everything is sanitary and as clean as possible, the perches, make sure everything is kept um, clean and, you know, 
void of extra poop and uh, make sure the containers for food are kept clean and off the ground where dirt and debris can get in it. Uh, the water, again, keep it up off the ground, free of dirt and debris. And then I also spread hay on the bottom of the coop, of the run, rather, and um, it's called Coop Clean. And it's very good at um, giving them a base, kind of, you know, so the poop gets kind of caked to the the hay and then it's easier to clean up and it doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the chicken's feet as much which is important because you don't want them dragging all of that poop and stuff into the nesting area and roosting area where they go to sleep at night if you notice the perches are very clean uh, i run a wet rag over them i wear gloves and i clean the inside your nest boxes, you need to clean the boxes out, put some diatomaceous earth, and then replace the hay. Make sure that the boxes do not have any um, chicken poop or anything in them. So you want to keep all that clean as well as the floor of the coop. She is being so boisterous. Boisterous, boisterous, boisterous. What are you doing? Are you being a loud mouth? All right, all right. I gave you a little pet. Okay. But yeah, so you just want to take all of these extra precautions in keeping your chickens healthy and happy um, and avoiding any breakout of diseases. The small, um, not smallpox, we're talking about fowl pox, um, there's no real cure for it. So you just have to let it run its course. Uh, there is um, tetracycline that you can add to the water. You can get it at your local feed store and add it to the water as a preventative from it spreading between the flock of chickens, between the chickens themselves, and to kind of help with them not having a reoccurrence of the disease. Um, you always want to, you know, keep an eye on your chickens, make sure they're what I call the powder puff of the chickens bottom is clean, that there's not a lot of poop stuck to it, which indicates maybe there's an issue with um, diarrhea or something of that nature. So you can see how they're healing now. It's kind of turned white in the spots that are healing. And then um, you just want to overall just keep an eye on each of the girls and making sure that they're acting properly, they're eating, they're drinking, normal behavior. Just all part of having chickens and keeping them healthy so uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions you can also research it online just type in fowl pox and it will give you great information about it hopefully this video was helpful um, just wanted to give you a realistic look at what can happen hey no picking realistic look at what can happen with your girls so Hard of having chickens. Isn't that right, girls? Yeah. And you guys have to be kept healthy and watched after just like anybody else. But yeah, there's some great information online. That's how I first discovered it. I saw these gross on my chickens years ago. So this is not the first flock that's gotten it for me. And I found out, oh my gosh, it's fowl pox, which is interesting. But if you don't know what to even look up because you're not sure what it is, at least hopefully this video will help you understand what's happening. Uh, again, it does go away in a few weeks and then they're back to normal. You may have a decrease in egg production during the time that it's happening, but uh, no big deal and they may not eat as much. But mine, honestly, kept eating, drinking. Um, no real decrease in egg production. I noticed a couple of them laying a little bit less, but not anything horrible and um, they're all eight months old now so and doing well huh girls all right well like the video if you did subscribe to our channel if you'd like to we appreciate it and again uh, thank you for watching from Cole's Backyard Coop 
of a great afternoon. Hope you're enjoying some beautiful March weather wherever you are. Look who's out there laying down. Of course, waiting for mom to come out of the coop so that she can get a little love. Another thing you're watching for is uh, Feather Loss there on Gracie. Hey, no biting. No, 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 no. She's got some Feather Loss around the uh, beard area. But from Cole's Backyard Coop, have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching. And happy chicken keeping. Isn't that right, girls? Daisy? Nope. You're one of my examples of what's happening right now, so be good. Yeah, be good. But you did give Mom an egg today, didn't you? You sure did. All of you gave me one. All of you. All of you. You stay in there. You stay in there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.